A British-born Nigerian artist has launched an art residency program in Lagos, Nigeria. The artist wants to bring painters, sculptors and other creative minds into one space with the aim of promoting African art at the global level. Take a look. British-born Nigerian artist Yinka Shonibare launches a program that will see painters, sculptors and other creatives live and work together for a period in an art residency program in Lagos. And talk about our plans. The Turner Prize nominee, whose giant Nelson ship in a bottle work stood on a flint in Lagos Trafalgar Square, says he wants artists from around the world to apply early for the residency scheme due to start in 2021. Under the scheme, four groups of three artists will spend three months every year based at a site in Lagos and on a 30-acre farm in a nearby town. According to him, construction work has started on the site in preparation for the launch date. It's absolutely important that Africans can be, uh, you know, experienced, engaged with on the continent and also, you know, it's, it's important that African culture is properly understood in the context of Africa and that people actually come here. The launch of the program coincides with an annual art fair which attracts artists from across Africa. It's clear now that um, for a number of complex reasons we're now beginning to have the voices, the amazing voices of African artists being brought into the conversation. Look, we have to be clear, it is long overdue. It was almost negligent. I wanted the average everyday individual who may not immediately come into contact with art in their day-to-day -day experiences to hear about Artex Lagos and to be intrigued by Artex Lagos. And when you start to do that kind of thing, you're almost sort of marketing the sector. You're almost marketing the visual arts as, a, as an important, a very important part and contributor to the creative economy. Artex is already increasing exposure. I think that uh, many international people come here and that's bound to be great for African art. You know, there are uh, many galleries that come from many different African countries. People can come from different parts of the world and experience all of that in one space. Experts say there has been a surge in global interest in African art over the last decade. They say much of the rise in interest was driven by investors who see African art as a market where growth can be achieved.